All right. Hello, YouTube. My name is Alan, and this is Mr. Gobbles. And we're here to talk about some metal tonight. So let's do that. Let's talk metal. Uh, this is going to be a relatively short video. I wanted to do something a little bit different. It is getting into late November, and that means the holiday season is upon us. Isn't that right, Mr. Gobbles? If I push a button, he's going to sing too, but I think the battery's worn out, so I want to spare you that. Um, but yeah, with the holiday season coming up, wanted to actually try to spread a little bit of holiday cheer myself this year. And so I wanted to be giving away some heavy metal stuff. This is kind of part of the whole VCLT mentality, which is something I thought was very, very cool when I started watching videos on YouTube a few years ago. Hadn't really been exposed to something like that. A lot of the record collectors and dealers I know, <clears throat> they kind of hang on to everything and hoard everything or only want to sell or trade things. So it was really interesting and neat to see people willing to just give items away. It's like, hey, yeah, let's just send some stuff to people for free. No expectations whatsoever. Just here, have some cool music stuff. If you like it, great. If you don't, give it to somebody else. Maybe they'll like it more instead. So, you know, over time, I've had some stuff pile up. I've got duplicates of some items that I don't need. You know, some items I've gotten, I don't really enjoy them that much, but maybe one of y'all will. So I'm going to send them out. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I've got a couple of padded bubble envelopes here. I want to stuff them full of CDs, cassettes, stickers, flyers. I can fit about two CDs, a cassette, and a bunch of random extras in each of these. And I'm going to give them to two people at random. So I guess this is technically a little bit of a contest, but it'll be a very, very simple type of contest. So before I tell you what you have to do, let's go over a few of the basics. This video will be posted on YouTube on November 22nd of 2022. And you'll have about 10 days to enter the contest then the winners will be drawn at random. I'm going to draw two winners and be completely at random. This will be done on the Heavy Metallurgy live stream on December 2nd, 2022. All right. So again, that gives you about 10 days to enter the contest. If you want to enter, you'll have to enter by 8 p.m. on that evening of December 2nd, 2022. That gives me about an hour to get everything up and ready before the stream begins at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Times. So what do you have to do to enter this contest? All you have to do is leave a comment on this video telling me what is the best holiday gift that you've ever received. Can be a heavy metal thing. Doesn't have to be a heavy metal thing. Doesn't have to be a music thing. Just, you know, what is that, you know, one special holiday gift that you've gotten that you will always kind of remember? This is kind of, you know, playing off the Christmas story movie where Ralphie finally gets the BB gun and it's his greatest Christmas gift ever. Watching that movie was always a big tradition in my house. My dad, for reasons nobody understands, is obsessed with the movie. He'll literally watch it about 10 times when they do that 24-hour marathon on Christmas. So, yeah, same idea here. And then I will give you a couple of examples of how this is done. So, if I wanted to do a heavy metal item entry, I'd have to say that. Best Christmas gift I ever received for heavy metal stuff was this. Get out of the way, gobbles. Uh, Desolation Angels, first LP, really the only full-length vinyl LP they did. This is one of the last great new wave of British heavy metal albums that came out. And back when I was in college, I'd gotten a mail-order catalog right around th uh, Thanksgiving time. Uh, it was from a vinyl dealer in New York. And, you know, I was sitting there, like, probably Thanksgiving afternoon, going through the catalog, trying to figure out what things I wanted to, you know, try to buy from the guy. With those kind of catalogs, you usually had to act pretty fast. The good stuff, the rare stuff would get sold pretty quickly. You know, so I was going through with like a highlighter and a pen, trying to make some notes, see what I could afford. And, you know, my mom and dad noticed like, oh, you got another catalog. You know, how much stuff are you buying this time? I was like, I'm just going to order a couple of albums. Holidays are coming up. I need money to buy you know, gifts. Still got to get through the rest of the semester and all that. So I'm just going to get a couple of things. And they told me, well, if you want, we'll give you... 50 bucks for Christmas and 
we can just give it to you early and that way you can go ahead and order some more records if that's what you want. I was like, so you're basically offering me a $50 gift card for this mail order catalog full of old vinyl records. We have a deal. And I already knew exactly what I was going to get because this was on the list, but yeah, it was 50 bucks. That was more than I could afford to spend on it. But with the early Christmas present for mom and dad, I went ahead and added that to the order and fantastic album. If you've never heard it, it's a got a very kind of doomy vibe to it. It's one of the new wave of British heavy metal bands that lean a little bit more in the Sabbath direction. Not as much so as Witchfinder General uh, or Pagan Altar, but yeah, great kind of, you know, very ominous sound to it. Really heavy songs, very powerful vibe. Great record. I would have eventually have gotten it, but it would have probably been years and years later. So the fact that I was able to get that while I was in college was all thanks to nice holiday gift from mom and dad. Thank you. So that's all you've got to do. Just add a comment down below. If you want to make your own video about this for your own channel, that's fine. Just include a link to it in the comments down below. That'll get you entered just as well. If I didn't state it earlier, I will ship the contents on the two envelopes to the winners anywhere around the world. You don't have to be in the U.S. or Canada to enter. Uh, if you're in Ukraine, China, Iran, doesn't matter. If I can mail it there, I will. If you're in the U.S., I'll probably send a media mail. If you're overseas, I'll send it at something that's a reasonable rate so that I don't have to sell half my album collection to pay the postage. But yeah, I'll get those out in the mail after the live stream that will happen on December the 2nd. Uh, something else I don't think I mentioned before in terms of what will be in the envelopes it will be completely random All right, I will actually have these envelopes packed up, sealed up before I even draw the winners so even I'm not going to know what's in which envelope um, I'll put one address on one one address on the other so you might get some black metal CDs you might get some death I'll we'll try and make sure the contents are mixed up so that you won't get like two mayhem CDs. You might get one at the gate CD and you know one uh, Michael Shanker CD. Uh, who knows? There's a big pile of stuff I've got laying around here. I just want to pick a few things at random, shove them in the envelopes. So it should be pretty straightforward. If you want to enter, all you got to do is leave that comment below. I'll give one more example in case you didn't get the idea of what you're supposed to do. This will be a non-metal example. And this is by far the best holiday gift I ever received or will probably ever receive. When I was five years old, the big cartoon on TV in my area was the Saturday morning Godzilla cartoon where ah, there are people on a boat and anytime they somehow got in trouble, they pushed a button and this thing sent a signal to Godzilla swimming around at the bottom of the ocean. It would come up and scare away the pirates or whatever. It was probably a horrible cartoon show. But you know, my friends and I, when we were five, we lived for this show, absolutely. And right around Christmas that year, there was a toy that was made. Y'all usually see it sitting back there on the shelf, but uh, he's up front today. So my folks got me the uh, Godzilla action figure. This guy's about three, two to three feet tall. Uh, he has fire-breathing action with a big lever on the back of his head. Uh, he also has one hand that is spring-loaded that can launch out with enough force to knock over a good, pretty solid Lego building. Because you know, back then, toys could hurt kids, and um, folks didn't worry about it too much. He's got wheels on his feet, so he can kind of glide across the floor. Not really sure why Godzilla should be gliding across the floor, but he can. Uh, arms and legs a little bit poseable as well. So this was the toy I wanted more than anything in the world that Christmas. And uh, you know, sure enough, Christmas morning, Santa Claus had left it under the tree. Um, it almost ended in tragedy because playing with it later that day with one of those big plastic Shogun warrior robots, uh, they were battling. And when I went to push on the lever so that uh, Godzilla could breathe fire and melt the robot, the lever just snapped. And I did not hit the lever hard. I wasn't pounding it or anything. It really was just push the lever and it just cracked and broke off. There must have been a crack in the plastic for it to have snapped that easy. So I, of course, freaked out to get to, you know, mom and dad. I'm just like, I did not break this. It just happened. I swear I was being careful with the toy. So they looked at it, looked at me and like, well, 
Well, what we can do is if we leave a note for Santa tonight and put the toy under it and explain what happened, he might be able to come back and give you a new one. Not sure if it'll work or not, but maybe. And I'm just like, that's a thing that could happen. They're like, maybe. Don't know. I'm just like, we have to try. So, yes, I, I wrote, you know, a letter in my best, you know, fifth grade uh, or uh, sorry, five year old, not fifth grade, five years. Crayola, chicken scratch handwriting, put it under the tree, prayed as hard as I could. And sure enough, the next morning, there was a brand new Godzilla under the box, which is this bad boy right here. I've had it ever since. Mysteriously, the afternoon bef uh, before, while I was writing out that letter, dad disappeared for several hours. Never to know exactly where he went that afternoon. Eh, he's probably out at a flea market or something. No idea. He was gone a long time. When he came back, he was mumbling that the returns line was very, very long. My five-year-old self didn't quite understand what that meant, and that was okay. So, again, that's all you got to do to enter the contest. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your best holiday gift ever was. And again, on the Heavy Metal live stream, episode number 83 on Friday, December the 2nd, 2022. I will announce two winners selected completely at random, and each winner is going to get a bubble envelope stuffed full of some heavy metal goodness so that uh, you can have a little something extra in your stocking this holiday season. That's going to do it for this video. Hope everybody does have a nice holiday season. I know the holidays can be a hectic time and a bit stressful, but uh, it can also be a lot of fun get to hang out with some folks that you don't always see on a regular basis and maybe get some cool gifts this year as well. All right. Until next time, everybody take care. And as always, keep banging your head, right? Gobbles. This never gets old. <laughs>